In a previous meeting you spoke about patriarchy in the Abrahamic religions and the oppression of women. It would be interesting to have your opinion on whether it is possible for us to return to matriarchy one day? And if it is possible, what can we do as women to facilitate this process? but in a way that is ecological, or as you said, elegant, without aggression towards men, without pressuring them and everybody else, and preserving our feminine dignity. Well, actually, the form you describe, which takes place in an ecological and elegant way, with dignity, can hardly be called matriarchy, because the very etymology of the word matriarchy, as well as the word patriarchy, means, to rule, and rulership always implies hierarchy. Someone is higher in the hierarchy, someone is lower. A matriarchal society is a society run by women, a patriarchal society is a society run by men. The higher ones rule over those who are below them, matriarchy, when woman was the dominant figure, was based on the sacred cult of woman, especially on her childbearing function. It was considered truly magical and mystical. Because a woman, apparently without any objective reason, suddenly pulled a living being out of her body and did so on a regular basis. If that's not real magic, what is? So it's understandable that a woman who gave birth was endowed with divine qualities because she performed a miracle. No one saw the connection between childbirth, sexual intercourse, and fertilization because primitive man was simply incapable of connecting these facts in his mind. Therefore, a woman as a mother, as a birthing mother, was placed at the center of everything. Woman, by her nature, by her elemental nature, by her psychic nature, by her biological nature, is a rather stable and, one might say, inert being. Unlike patriarchy, matriarchy wasn't a time of development. It was a time of cognition, awareness, and contemplation. It was a time of learning about oneself and others, of forming a community of people without trying to expand. During matriarchy, all people lived together as members of the same tribe, like a swarm of bees around their queen. There were no wars of conquest for foreign territory. From time to time there were fights between neighboring tribes, for example, for women, for prey, or just on the occasion of ritual feasts, but they were usually very rare. Later, matriarchy was replaced by patriarchy, and that's when expansion and wars of conquest began. People started to expand outward rather than inward. The reason for this is that the masculine nature contains more of the air and fire elements. It requires constant expansion. A feminine nature doesn't need that kind of expansion. It requires preservation and peace. If you want to see a return of the matriarchy, you have to realize that we are going to return to this state of stasis. With all this, the power of women, if it's a real power, just like the power of men, does not imply gender equality, because, I repeat, the very principle of power always suggests a hierarchy. When there is equality, or rather equal value of man and woman, it is something different. It is neither matriarchy nor patriarchy. When there is mutual respect, mutual help, it is no longer about a matriarchal or patriarchal society. It's when we don't want the superiority of women over men, when we want equality, when we want to gain mechanisms that will prevent men from ever rising above women. It's a different form of power and interaction.
So I would probably say that at this point nobody needs either matriarchy or patriarchy in its pure form. Because both are just ways of evolutionary development. People who lived under matriarchy had to learn to preserve and survive. After learning to preserve and survive, they had to learn to conquer and expand. Maybe it's time for a different system. What will it be like? We will all have to deal with it. And many of us will find out what it will be in our lifetime.